When Meghan Markle opens a new window. Tie the nut with Prince Harry opens a new window. At St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on May 19, 2018, she did so wearing a tiara from Queen Elizabeth II opens a new window. The Royal Jewelry Collection, the Queen Mary Diamond Bando tiara. At an exhibition showcasing items from their wedding day last fall, the Duchess of Sussex shared in a voice recording that it was a surreal experience to select the headpiece with the Queen, but recent reports have indicated Her Majesty may longer be so keen with lending her granddaughter-in-law jewelry, especially pieces once made famous by Princess Diana opens a new window. According to The Sun opens a new window. Queen Elizabeth has banned the former Suits actress from wearing certain pieces from the extensive royal collection, but a source tells Us Weekly that is simply not the case. Calling the report inaccurate, the source says the story stemmed from the Queen saying that it would be inappropriate for Meghan to wear the jewels for the royal wedding, only that one time. While the mom-to-be has not borrowed jewelry from the archive since her wedding day, it's likely only because she hasn't had a reason to do so while her sister-in-law Kate Middleton opens a new window, is known to wear the diamond and pearl lover's knot tiara, also a favorite of her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana, for state banquets, Duchess Meghan has not yet attended such an event. But that doesn't mean she hasn't accumulated her own collection of royal jewels. Following their mother's death, Princes William and Harry inherited her jewelry with the intention of giving it to their wives one day. William proposed to Kate with the Princess of Wales' iconic diamond and sapphire engagement ring, and the mom of three has subsequently been seen wearing several other bracelets and earrings from Diana's jewelry box. Two of three diamonds and Duchess Meghan's engagement ring, meanwhile, were sweetly repurposed from a piece of bling that belonged to Diana. On her wedding day, the newly minted royal memorably stepped out for her reception rocking the princess' massive aquamarine sparkler and she's also wore an inherited butterfly earrings and a gold cuff on occasion. And then there are also the diamond and pearl drop earrings the monarch gifted Meghan ahead of their first solo appearance together last June. So while we haven't been treated to seeing the Duchess of Sussex in a tiara in a while, there seems to be plenty of royal bling to go around.